Hi, I'm Clay. I'm Jeremy. And our project was the Set and Forget Drum Tuner. The Set and Forget Drum Tuner is a fully automated drum tuning system designed to take the headache and hassle out of tuning a drum. In this presentation, we're going to cover drum tuning, audio input circuitry, frequency detection, motor control algorithm and circuitry, solenoid control algorithm and circuitry, and the future developments of our project. To start this off, I'll be discussing the process of tuning a drum. There are three main components to the drum. The rim, the shell, and the drum head. The drum lugs squeeze the shell and rim together, tightening the drum head. Since the head is a soft membrane, it stretches, which creates the frequency that's heard. The tighter the lugs, the higher the frequency produced. The issue with tuning a drum is that adjusting the tension of the head in front of one lug affects the adjacent lugs. For the audio circuitry, we use two op amp amplifiers with a total gain of around 1000. The frequency detection, which will be discussed next, works best when the input is a square wave. For this reason, we use a very large gain to cause the sinusoid to resemble a square. So for our frequency detection algorithm, we opted for autocorrelation. So what happens is we input a signal, we make a copy and shift it. So then we multiply the shifted signal and keep shifting and storing that value. The higher the correlation, the higher that value will be. <clears throat> we can use the amount of shifts and the sample frequency to determine the frequency of the incoming signal. For our motor control, we use the Atmega 328P, a 4 to 16 line decoder, and three H bridges. The output of the microcontroller is a 4-bit sequence that corresponds to a motor as well as a motor direction. This 4-bit sequence is created with a series of if statements and timers. For the solenoid control, we have a microcontroller, we have flyback diodes, resistors, and BJTs. So the 4-bit output of the first microcontroller is actually used as an input to the second microcontroller. We had to use two of these microcontrollers due to issues with timing. The output of the second microcontroller is a 45 millisecond pulse that goes into the base of a BJT. This causes current to flow through the BJT, which subsequently forces current to flow through the solenoid, pushing the rod down and creating a tap. This simulates a drum stick. So the image on the right is actually our completed and assembled device. Um, everything seen in this image was created by us. The PCB was designed by us. The actual physical device was created in SOLIDWORKS and 3D printed, and it was hand assembled and soldered by us. For future improvements, we would like to make the device modular. As of right now, we are stuck to a simple six lug pattern, but we would like the ability to change the amount of lugs and the lug pattern, which will allow more gems to be tuned by our device. We'd also like to add um, an app for our display and control. So instead of having switches and an LCD to control and see what's happening, we would like to be able just to open up your phone, <clears throat> see the frequency it's tuned to, and then select a frequency you would like to tune to. We'd also like to reduce power consumption so that the device can run off of batteries. As of right now, it is connected to a wall outlet, which limits mobility. And finally, we would like to reduce the physical footprint of the device since it's pretty large and bulky at this time. It weighs quite a bit and that can be cut down. And the, the following video is a demonstration of the SAF drum tuner tuning to 208 hertz. And it completes its cycle in about 56 seconds. Yes. I'm going to go.